first of all, long time no see. I am sorry. And please don't mind my ratchet hair today. But today I will be doing a review of the new Maybelline Dream Wonder Powder. And if you don't know, this is the new formula that they came out with after having the formula of the Dream Matte Powder, which I love a lot. So getting into this review, I'm going to start off doing a little overview of what I think about the original Dream Matte Powder. So first of all, packaging wise, it's just plastic. Flips open like this, twist it to the side. You have a little puff and a mirror. I'm in the shade Sand for the original and I have to say I freaking love this product. It lasts forever. It keeps my matte, my matte, it keeps my skin super matte and it's at an affordable price of about like eight dollars but they don't sell it anymore. They came out with this new product, the Maybelline Dream Wonder Powder and so starting off with packaging, again it's plastic but as you can see, this one's fully clear and this one is like covered on the edges. I'm sorry if this is out of focus. It doesn't look right. Anyways, opening it, um, it kind of has these little like crevices, right? So you can open it. comes with a sponge that obviously I have used. Because the first time I try a product, I like to use the applicator it comes with to see what it looks like. Then I use my brush to see which one I like better. Um, and then it has just a little mirror. What I like about it is that it does keep your face matte for quite some time. Oh, by the way, I am in the shan shand. I am in the shade Classic Ivory number 20. But getting back to it. It does keep your skin matte all day in my case. I don't have very oily skin, so I don't retouch throughout the day, but for me, with normal skin, it kept my skin pretty matte and I didn't feel the need to touch up. I didn't feel oily or anything. The formula is really nice. Now, if I were to just swatch it, you can see how much product comes off. And honestly, I would suggest using a sponge for this product because you get so much product that way. But if you were to use a brush, there is so much fallout and just loose powder that gets all over you everywhere. It's like not even funny and it's not very pretty to try to clean up all the loose powder all over you. Another downside of this product is that if you do put too much on, you will look like a cake. And by a cake, I do mean a literal cake. This stuff can get really cakey really fast, so you have to know how to control it. Whereas this stuff, you can put a lot on and it won't look cakey. Honestly, I would prefer the original matte powder formulation than the Dream Wonder, but I feel like even though this is the first version of it, the more they start to formulate the new versions of the Dream Wonder, it's going to become a lot better. I mean, the color payoff is really good. This is not translucent whatsoever, so if you're buying this, buy this in your color. Do not buy just a random color because other powders like this Revlon Photo Ready is just translucent so it doesn't matter what color you get but for the dream wonder I would definitely recommend getting the color that is your shade um, the color selection is pretty average there's not like too little like the new forever 21 line where there's only three and it's not like overwhelming like the new covergirl true um, line or whatever that's called this retails for about eight nine dollars depending on what drugstore you buy it at I would definitely recommend picking this out if you are wanting to try a new powder otherwise I would just stick to your old ones there's nothing really special about this one I mean I do like it a lot but I tend to just stick with my dream matte powder over my dream wonder so that is it for my review I hope you guys like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe hit the button wherever it is over here over here for new videos that I will be posting every week and I promise, because I'm going to pre-film a lot right now. Okay, so I love you guys so much, and thank you for watching. Bye! But then you can also go to Costco and buy a bundle for like $5, which is even a better deal.